I'm going to check this out now and see if I think it's ready to go over. See, I've got a little, just a little crease there. And if I can scrape it off, then I know it's nice and hard enough. But I can take off a little bit, but I can tell I'm still digging in to the underneath side that still needs to dry some more, okay? It's drying pretty good, but I'm going to have to wait a little bit longer. That's because I used the 40 minute mud. We got a small patch kind of like this. You know, if you had 20 minute mud, 15 minute mud, it would be nice and easy to do that. But because I had another patch in here, you know, which was bigger, you saw it over there. I didn't want to get 15 minute or 20 minute mud or anything like that, okay? And so I just, you know, I'll just have to wait a little bit longer. Probably what I should have done in hindsight. No, I guess that's right. I should have patched the small one first before I worked on the second one, and that's what I did. If you got more than one patch, you, you might want to think about that. Which one is bigger, which one's smaller? You do the small one, and then that one can be drying. This one can be drying while you're working on the bigger patch, you know? And then you'll save some time. And that's what I did. But because I had 40-minute mud, I'm just going to have to wait a little bit longer. See how much drier that patch is now? The only dark area is right down in towards the middle. Everything else is whiter and that means it's drying. It's just about ready. Now if you can take your knife and go this way and wipe off some of the high edges. Well, if you got something kind of higher, you can scrape it off that way. Okay. Just don't want to scrape off too much deeper than where you have to, you know? Right in here, it's still ever so slightly wet still. And I'm going to wait just a little bit longer. You know, it hasn't been that long since I've done this patch. Just about ready for the next coat.